something amazing has happened recently, and that is that the CIA have accidentally and kind of secretly proved that reality shifting is real, quantum jumping can happen, and really we're not bound by the limits of time and space. This is literally mind-blowing stuff, and I've never seen anything quite like this. And when this final page, page 25, of this report was released, I was blown away, and I, when I saw it and read the contents, I had to share this with you. Um, and so when, whatever you think about shifting, quantum jumping, or even just time, space, and reality in general, this is a really interesting topic, and I think you're gonna to wanna to hear this, especially when you actually see for yourself uh, and you can click on the link in the description. You can literally read this report on the CIA's website. Uh, so I'm not just making this up, okay? I'm not just, this is not my opinion, although my opinion also goes along with this. You can see this for yourself. You can read the documents. They've been declassified now. They're public. Anyone can read them. And I'm going to get into exactly what they're saying now. So firstly, before we can really get into this, I just need to explain a bit more about what's going on here, the study, how it works, and then kind of like a rough timeline. Okay, so in the 1950s, I think I'm pronouncing that right, Robert Monroe, um, he was like a radio broadcasting exec. He begins to produce evidence that specific sound patterns can actually affect human capabilities. And this includes things like alertness, sleepiness, and all types of, and this will be important later on, expanded states of consciousness. In 1956, Monroe starts to create like a research and development division inside his company called Ram uh, Enterprises. And the goal is to see, you know, the purpose of this division is to study the effect of sound on human consciousness. He was really obsessed with sleep learning, subliminal learning, that kind of thing. A bit later on in 1958, he discovers something very interesting. He discovers a link between certain bright lights and vibrations and paralysis. Fast forward a few years and the Monroe Institute publishes Journeys Out of the Body, which is a book focused on out-of-body experiences. In, in a nutshell, astral projection. Now here is where things get really interesting. In 1972, or roughly around that time, a classified report gets circulated in the US military and intelligence communities, basically claiming that the Soviet Union is pouring lots and lots of money into research into extrasensory perception, psychokinesis, and out-of-body experiences. Things that, at this point, and also even now, the world at large doesn't believe exist. And the Soviet Union in 1972 starts to pour lots of money into researching these things. Why would they do that? Anyway, fast forward to 1975, and the Monroe Institute registers a patent, one of many patents they have, uh, to do with audio techniques and kind of how to stimulate brain functions using sound. And they actually created a sound system called HemiSync, which I have reviewed before. Very interesting program, and uh, you can find a link in the description, but that's not what we're going to talk about for the most of this video. Now, here is where things get even more interesting. We're down the rabbit hole now. So on June the 9th, 1983, the CIA report entitled Analysis and Assessment of the Gateway Process is released. Now, this is a scientific framework for understanding expanded human consciousness, astral projection, and altered states of mind. Now, at this point, you might be thinking, hold on a second. I didn't know there was any, like, official research into astral projection and out-of-body experiences. I thought it was just all kind of subjective, and maybe you've even heard people say, or try and say, that it's just another form of lucid dreaming. Absolutely not. There's actually a lot behind this, and they're really trying to cover this up, and they can't really do, do that anymore because <laughs> it's all unwinding in front of them. Interestingly, uh, in roughly 1988, 1989, a remote viewer called Angela Della Fiora helps to track down a customs agent who has gone on the run. She actually manages to find this guy using remote viewing, and this actually led to US customs apprehending him um, in, in a small town called Lovell in Wyoming. Moving on, the CIA now approves the declassification of the Gateway Process report in 2003. This was the first time they declassified it. And it's now public. I can link to it in the description. You can read this report. It's mind-blowing, the stuff that they're you know, coming out with and, and, and showing and proving. In 2017, right, so we're, we're fast-forwarding over 10 years now, the CIA declassifies 12 million pages of records previously unknown with details about the program, uh, which would actually then later on become known as Project Stargate. Long story short, this report and many others have gone on to show 
Not only the existence of altered states of consciousness, other dimensions, astral projection, remote viewing, and all of these things that previously had been ridiculed in the public media, but it actually goes on to show that uh, the, the very nature of reality itself has been misunderstood in a huge way. Now, without going too much into the Gateway Report, because it's a massive document and there's so many details that are associated with this, I'll just skip forward a bit, okay? So very recently, the Monroe Institute have declassified page 25 of this report, which was currently, or well, you know, up until this point, it was missing. They hadn't published this before. So this was a new page, uh, which they claimed before that they had lost, conveniently. But they've recently found well, the Monroe Institute specifically has found this new page, this page 25 of that report. So firstly, the report itself is pretty detailed. It goes through different winding tangents and takes you on this journey of like explaining and kind of annotating the idea of consciousness, reality and awareness. Well, before I explain page 25, I first want to explain page 24. And it kind of leaves us on this cliffhanger. It says, this is because in order to attain self-consciousness, I'm reading a quote now from the report itself. This is page 24. The consciousness of the absolute must project a hologram of itself and then perceive that hologram. The hologram is a mirror image of the absolute in infinity, which still exists outside time and space, but is one step removed from the absolute and is the actual agent of all creation. And in, in brackets, it says all reality. The external thought or concept of self, which results from this self-consciousness, serves the... And then it just cuts off. It skips to page 26. They miss page 25 from the report entirely up until now, which I'm going to get onto now. On page 25, and this is really mind blowing, it's basically saying that between the reality we know and the absolute, meaning the sum total of all realities, all dimensions, timelines, are countless intervening dimensions. Bear in mind this is on a CIA report that they tried to hide, on a page that they didn't acknowledged that they even had up until recently. Between the reality we know, this current reality, and the absolute, meaning the sum total of all realities, countless intervening dimensions. That's amazing. It's a pretty interesting thing that they would conveniently forget or lose, especially when this is, you know, gaining more attention online and people are actually realizing that they can find this report on the CIA website. It might not be there forever. They'll probably take this down, okay? But right now you can read it on their site. Now, I find it super interesting that a government report, much less a CIA report that you can publicly read, would not only acknowledge these things like remote viewing, astral projection, these things have actually been proved and kind of uh, acknowledged to be real years and years ago. As I explained, you know, the Soviet Union was researching this back in the 70s and they successfully proved and used these things. I mean, we can only guess what kind of things they're using astral projection for in, you know, these dark underground labs and, and bases and things that we just would never hear about. It's pretty obvious that this stuff is real and they don't want people to realize that. They don't want people to know that they can actually view things remotely, astral project, connect with their higher self, un upgrade and unlock their consciousness. People, if they would do that in, you know, on a mass scale, would be much harder to control and manipulate. So it's quite obvious why they would not want people to do that. Now, what I find really interesting is that although they've been trying to censor and hide this stuff, things like this still slip through the net. And if you really look at what this is saying, this is saying that this reality that we're currently experiencing is not all there is. There are countless other dimensions and realities which all interweave and intervene with each other. That's a really important and profound statement. Like, you need to understand that what that's saying is that this life and this reality are infinitely connected to other alternate realities and dimensions. Now, does that prove reality shifting is real? I'm not sure. It certainly sheds light on the fact that this is not all there is. And it could have countless implications, not just for lucid dreamers, not just for astral projectors, but for anybody who believes in something beyond this, just this reality that we see today. So I would love you to comment on this video, give it a like, and actually Go and click on the link in the description, read the report yourself, and then come back here and comment your thoughts. I would really love to hear what you think about this. And if you are interested, by the way, in raising your frequency and vibration, I did put together, this is something that I've been studying for a long time, and this channel really just touches the surface of the things that I am super passionate about and really like to research. 
I actually have a lot more on my other site, Astral HQ, and also Transcend Your Limits. Anyway, if you want to start raising your frequency and vibration and unlocking this kind of ability, astral projecting, you know, opening your third eye, getting more in touch with your intuition, I have a whole video training. It's completely free. All you need to do is just click on the link in the description, go and watch the video masterclass now, and just give it a try. See if these things work for you. And I'm really curious to hear what you think about this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to share this if you did like it. And I'll see you next time.